Hey everybody, my name's Ben and today I'm going to do a demonstration of the smartphone controlled K9. So here he is and for scale reference we'll put him in front of the TARDIS teapot and TARDIS mug. It gives you some idea of how big he is. Now he's Bluetooth controlled. So we're going to go into my devices settings and Bluetooth. We'll turn him on. There's K9, but he's not yet connected. So we're going to go back over here to K9. Here is his on and off button. We're going to hold it for two seconds. This is going to turn him on. His control panel is going to flash. His eye stalk flashed until it connected to the phone which indicates that he's now connected so we're going to go ahead and get out of this we're going to go down here to his app we'll turn him on I am K9. now all the volume is controlled through the phone but the what you're going to hear is going to come through the speaker located on the bottom of K9 there in the rear. It's a small speaker, but so long as you keep the volume on your phone or other device basically turned all the way up, uh, he actually gets kind of loud. It's a mono speaker, so you're not talking the best quality in the world, but given what he is, it actually does pretty well. So now we'll go into the app, and we're going to push start. We're going to push joystick control, and as you can see, he's got an up, down, left, and right control. There's no floating joystick. Fire is John Leeson saying fire in the voice of K9. Voices gives you eight additional commands that John Leeson would say in the show and some of them I think all of them actually are actually from the show itself now we go back to options and let's give K9 here a practical test so we're gonna move him forward and he moves quickly so this is a push and release reverse is a little slower Turn him left, turn him right. Those are all push and release. There is a minor delay between when I push and when he moves based on the fact that it's Bluetooth and there may be additional interference from other devices. We'll give him a prolonged push and forward. We'll turn him around a little bit. Short push, another short push. He does fairly well, so long as he's on a smooth surface. Anything smoother, or rather, not as smooth, and he will have a bit of trouble. Uh, I've tried running him against the boards on a hardwood floor, and his wheels just aren't able to compensate. The two black ones in the front are the motorized wheels. The white ones in the back are just guide wheels. They don't actually do anything but roll around. So, so long as you keep him on a flat surface, he will do fine. Um, according to Amazon, his ears move when he's in motion. This is true, but it's very hard to see. They don't move a whole lot. The laser nose also moves. It extends and it retracts, but I thought this was me inferring because Amazon did not state this in the description, but I inferred that it was also electronic. It is not. It basically acts as a clicker on a ballpoint pen would. So if you want it to extend, you're going to push it in slightly and then it will extend out. To retract it, you push it back in and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. 
there it goes. It's now retracted. This is mode one. Canine has two modes. So if we flip him over while he's turned on, we go back to the on and off button. We push it and release it right away. Now he's still on, but now he has basically been turned immobile. He will still emit sound, but he will not move. He is now basically a desktop speaker. He will use your device's music app, which in my case is going to be iTunes. So we'll turn him on. We'll go to artist. And how about Big Finish? Our pals at Big Finish. So we're going to choose the Sands of Life. So while that's playing on my phone, the volume for the story or music is going to play through K9. So if you happen to be in an office, where you could have a desktop speaker you could put this on your desk and play whatever it is that's in your itunes or whatever the android equivalent is over the speaker through k9 this has been my demonstration of the smartphone controlled k9 my overall assessment of it is that it's very nice it was a little pricey at just under $100 US um, the description is possibly a little misleading in that the laser nose isn't an automatic thing the ears while they do turn they don't turn much um, I would have preferred in the control section instead of the four buttons I would have preferred a virtual joystick which would have made it easier to control him but having said that he's still a lot of fun and if for no other reason than the desktop speaker function um, that right there is a very nice feature but overall it's actually really nice I would recommend it um, and it's a lot of fun so anyway that has been my demonstration of the smartphone controlled canine you can find me on twitter at time lord ben be sure to find me there if you have any additional questions regarding the smartphone controlled canine thank you